In this video, I want to share with you a couple of tips when doing Z-sphere retopology. The first tip that I want to share with you about doing Z-sphere retopology is about deselecting points. So according to the manual, you have to deselect points by going to an empty part of your document and then click over there. So right now that point has been deselected. In order to deselect it, I could go all the way over here with my pen and then click on the document and you see that point got deselected. Now that is not my preferred way of working because when doing that you have to go all the time all the way to an empty part and then go back and furthermore I could be zoomed in so that I don't have an empty part. So then if I want to deselect something I have to go to an empty part and or zoom out, go to the empty part of the document, click, zoom in again. That's not what I want to do. So with this point selected, I can simply deselect it by hovering with my pen over my tablet without touching the tablet and now click over that point with or no sorry not over that point but simply over the geometry hover over your tablet and click with your pen button. So you see it got deselected and I can simply reselect a point by hovering over it and again not touching the tablet and press your pen button. Now it got selected again. If I want to select that one again do not touch the tablet just hover over it with your pen and click your pen button and now that one is selected. So that's a very fast way to select points and if I want to deselect everything simply hover over the geometry away from a point and then again click. So you do not touch the tablet doing this. You hover over the tablet with your pen. You click your pen button. To, this, to, to select you do it over a point. So click. That's the way you select it. And to deselect everything simply away from a point over geometry and now it is deselected. That's the first tip I wanted to share about doing Z-sphere retopology. The second tip that I want to share with you about Z-sphere retopology is about using masks when editing the points. So when you are in draw mode you can of course when you click on geometry create new points just like I'm doing over here. And when you press the W key to move, you can of course edit your geometry. And according to your brush settings, so I usually set it to 1, but when I make a higher brush setting, then of course I'm going to manipulate more points. So with a large brush and with a small overall or uh, high uh, focal shift, I'm going to have a fall off. When I want to affect them more rigidly, I can set my focal shift all the way to minus 100 and I'm, I'm, I can edit all the points very rigid, rigidly. But let's say that I want to manipulate, for instance, these points, but not those surrounding. So with a large brush, I am going to affect a large portion portion of them so it's especially with when your focal shift is low so I'm going to affect a large portion now I can mask points so if I hold control and alt then I can select these ones and everything else has been masked right now you don't see it but it has been masked so if I hover over here and I click and drag, you see that that portion gets affected, but that portion that has been masked has not been affected. Now, when I drew out my mask, I got my mask rectangle, and if I want to change that, you see that right now my brush palette has been mask, uh, grayed out. So in order to change uh, how I can mask, I have to go back into draw mode, and now I can select, for instance, the mask lasso, go back into 
move mode by pressing the W key and I'm going to first clear my mask and I can do that actually also yeah, in an empty part of the document so my mask is now being cleared so when I do this everything gets affected so again when I hold control and alt and I want to for instance manipulate these points over here and mask everything else I can do my lasso like that while holding control alt now those are unmasked and everything else has been masked so when I now move this you see that I can easily manipulate those points without affecting the others and again adjusting the focal shifts everything moves rigidly like that with the low focal shift I have a smooth fall off just like that and of course to clear my mask simply clear the mask and now everything will be affected again and you have to make sure that you actually when you do your move moving also with the large brush that you hover over a point because when you hover over the geometry in the background and you then when you click and drag you're actually rotating you're not actually moving your points so we have to go when you see the red circle then you can click so again if I want to mask or unmask these and mask everything else I can hold control alt draw out my lasso now those points surrounding the lasso will be unmasked and everything else will be masked and with a large brush I can adjust a large portion of my z-sphere with topology all at once without actually affecting the others so that's a handy way instead of having to move every single point one at a time which can be very tedious while doing z-sphere retopology so with a large brush I can and with a small a high focal shift I can move more points at the same time with a fall off with a low focal shift it will be rigid and if you have your brush big as I have it now if you don't want to affect certain points then mask them or it's easier to unmask the ones you want affected by holding control alt and draw your lasso over it now those points are unmasked unmasked so I can easily edit this geometry on a larger portion you see those points are masked so they are not moving and of course those are because because of the large brush size just like that so z-sphere retopology can be done with masking and of course your brush size and your focal shift also play an important part, part of how everything is being edited just like that hope you found that useful